as a kid growing up, I was Jerry Mathers, just I wasn't living in LA. I was living in Saigon. I was living in Rome. I had, I spoke better Italian than I did English. My mother at one point was like a little worried. Like he's turning into like this ragazzo, this brat, this kid, this Italian kid. And then in Saigon, I spoke French. So what's going on here? And, but then I moved out of this sort of phase where my father was just this great war hero who had jumped into France. And, all. and I was on the diving board of the Cirque Sportif, which is this sort of notorious kind of club in Saigon with a swimming pool. And there would be French planters there, American colonels, obviously some CIA people, French prostitutes. You know, it was just sort of a floating, it would be like that the Beverly Hills Hotel in the old days was open to kids as well. You'd see a few things in the cabanas. So, and I was on the diving board of the Cirque Sportif and one of my best friends who must have known something I didn't know, he says, you know, your dad's a spy. I said, no, he works for the embassy. He goes, no, he's CIA. And he jumped off the diving board. So that night I asked my dad, I said, um, one of my friends told me you ever work for the CIA. Is that true? And he said, and he kind of looked at me with one of those like expressions like, one kind of, so let's just keep that our little secret. So now I had a job. I'm helping protect him. And then little things would come up every few months that I'd say, God, I went on this hunting trip, you know, with Mr. X, you know, it's incredible. He's such a great shot and blah, blah, blah in Indonesia. And um, he said, hmm, very interesting. Don't ever mention his name again. It's like, whoa. So I realized he must be deep cover not a good idea to blab about him. So that's not doing too much, but I'm part of the family now. It's not the Sopranos, but somewhat similar. <laughs>